Why do you think ratings are down uh, as much as they are? Is it as simple as we don't have a team to root for? I think it's a couple of reasons, Tyler. Firstly, as you mentioned, the U.S. national team not qualifying is obviously a blow to the ratings. But the other thing is the time zone. If you think about it, 2014 in Brazil, that was a perfect time zone for North America. Whereas this year, playing in Russia, you have morning games. That makes it less sort of um, desirable in terms of viewing figures. What is it that explains why the team has taken off in Atlanta? I mean, I... It must be, Darren, your brilliant marketing. I mean, it's got, what explains it? Why did it click so fast? I think one of the interesting things, Tyler, is everyone said, I mentioned earlier, that it wasn't a soccer city. It's a city of transplants. So a lot of people bring their club from where they've come from. So if you're from Philadelphia, you might be a Philadelphia Eagles fan because your dad took you to a game, but you haven't built up an allegiance in soccer. So I think what we were able to do was to, to make Atlanta United Atlanta's team. And, and wherever you go, it's the team that you can identify. So you might have your guilty secret that you're a Green Bay Packer fan and your cheese heads in the cupboard that you bring out when Green Bay come to play the Falcons. But when it comes to soccer, Atlanta United's your team. And, and we've just seen this phenomenal growth. And if you go around the city, you see it everywhere, the flags, um, people have it on their cars with the magnetic it's stickers. Really? It's just it's just been really exciting to see. And it's a wonderful new stadium. And uh, the success in the stands uh, has been matched on the field. You've got a great record and a great coach. Darren, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.